Here are words I never believed I would say. The Indianapolis Colts should trade Andrew Luck. I know, I know. I love Andrew Luck. He's the next guy to be best quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion. But there was a mock draft on the CBS Sports website by a guy named Will Brinson. Now, Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay would never include an imaginary fantasy blockbuster franchise-altering trade at the top of their projected drafts. But this other guy did. The mock trade had the Browns giving their first four draft picks this year, including the first and fourth overall picks, plus two good second-rounders, to the Colts for 28-year-old Andrew Luck coming off surgery. It's made up. It's not going to happen. It's just a guy writing down a thought and idea. And the Colts should do it. They should get on the phone and make it happen. Yes, Luck is a premium talent, an all-pro level player who can drag an inferior team to the playoffs by himself. He's done it several times. A rare find, an elite level guy. But if the Colts make that deal, that imaginary deal with Cleveland, they have three of the top four picks in the draft altogether. And that's even if they don't get the two second rounders. That's one, three, and four. For the franchise that picked Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck, need a quarterback, a running back, a pass rusher? Go ahead. Instant rebuild. And if you're Cleveland, well, let's face it, left to your own devices on draft day, you'll get Tim Couch or Johnny Manziel, not Carson Wentz or Deshaun Watson. Don't worry. This year, you get the rest of Andrew Luck's prime with maybe the best still left to come. Browns fans deserve a great QB. They haven't had a reliable one since about Bernie Kosar. This is the fan base that got robbed of its terrible team and then got a new terrible team by the force of its own will. They begged even to have the chance at losing football. The franchise owes those folks a player like luck. It's just a mock trade and a mock draft. I get it. But the Browns and Colts would be mock-blowing it if they don't pick up the phone and at least talk about it if they haven't already.